Burpa at Boise State. The goal of this video is to provide Boise State University employees an overview of FERPA, the federal legislation that guides the privacy and release of student information. This video provides a definition of FERPA, an overview of what FERPA and Boise State policies define as directory and non-directory information, and your responsibilities to protect student data. Having a working knowledge of FERPA is critical, even if you don't have direct access to student records, and even more critical if you do have access. FERPA is the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act. It is also referenced as the Buckley Amendment of 1974. FERPA is a federal legislation that protects student educational records. FERPA provides three basic rights. The right to limited release of information and release only with express written consent, the right to review records and request amendments, and the right to request full privacy. Boise State University practices strict adherence to the FERPA amendment. Employment requires compliance with Boise State student records and the State Board of Education policies as well as state and national legislation associated with the privacy of records. Infractions of such policy are considered serious and may be grounds for disciplinary action up to and including termination of employment and or expulsion from the university. FERPA and Boise State policy define two types of information about students, directory information and non-directory information. Directory information is the kind of information found in a public directory such as a telephone book. Non-directory information is any other information about a student. These will be defined specifically later in this video. When dealing with confidential student information, it is always best to defer to the experts, the registrar's office, or institutional research. In cases where you have express written consent from the student, you may release information. But again, best practice is to defer to the experts. In cases where you may be asked to write a letter of recommendation or serve as a reference for a student, you must have written consent to do so. That may be in the form of an email from the student, but it must be written. It is important to note that if a student has requested full privacy in his or her My Boise State account, we cannot release anything, not even directory information. Only directory information as defined by FERPA and Boise State policy may be released externally without student consent and only by the Registrar's Office or Institutional Research except when you have written consent from the student. Employees may release information to other employees based on a concept called need to know or legitimate educational interest. Release is based on what the person needs to know about the student information to complete job tasks or meet job responsibilities. A good litmus test is, does this person need this information to support a student or meet job requirements? To release information to a student, you must be able to reasonably and confidently identify the student. When releasing information via email, you should only release information to the student's assigned Boise State email address, and student email addresses are identified by the u.boisestate.edu domain. Directory information as defined by FERPA and Boise State policy includes the student name, mailing address and telephone number, email address, dates of attendance, such as fall 2012 semester, enrollment status, such as full-time or part-time, class standing, freshman, sophomore, etc., major and minor plans, degrees earned, and date of conferral. Again, best practice is to not release any student information externally. Defer to the registrar's office. Non-directory information may never be released externally and only to employees who need to know in order to perform their jobs. Non-directory information may be released to a student once the student is properly identified. Some examples of non-directory information as defined by FERPA and Boise State policy are date of birth, courses or location of courses, grades, GPA, credit totals, parent information, student number or social security number, gender, academic status, such as probational or dismissal, previous institutions attended, holds, service indicators, student account information, financial aid or veteran status, ACT or SAT test results, and anything else that is not explicitly defined as directory information by FERPA and Boise State policy. If privacy has been requested by a student, you may not release any information to anyone, internal or external, except the student. A student who has requested full privacy will have this window shade displayed in our student system. 
Students may sign a release of information form, express written consent, that allows for release of information to specific individuals. This form is kept on file in the Registrar's Office. Any external request for information should be deferred to the Registrar's Office for release. If working directly with the student, you have multiple ways to verify the identity of the student. These include a photo ID, Boise State or state-issued driver's license, photo of student in Student Center, student ID number, last four digits of the national ID or social security number if we have it on file, birth date, phone number or address on record, enrollment in specific courses, grades in previous courses. A combination of these items is likely known only to the student. The university may release information in certain situations. Emergency situations where there is an imminent threat or subpoena. In these cases, it will not be you as an individual releasing the information, but a representative from higher level administration such as the Dean of Students, Vice President positions, University Council, etc. All subpoenas should be delivered to the Office of the General Counsel upon receipt. So how do you exercise care with student information? Remember, it is your role to protect student data. Do not send email messages with student names or ID numbers in the subject line. Do not save files that include student information on a flash drive or laptop that can be compromised or lost. If you must save student data, save it to a secure or password protected folder. Access only the student data you need to do your job. All student data requests for research must go through the IRB review process. Refer requests to institutional research to obtain data for research. All requests for student data that come to you should be vetted through the Registrar's Office. When using student data for reporting, as in an annual report, make sure that students cannot be personally identified. Grades should never be posted or physically placed in public places. Follow regular university protocol for use of the data, such as sending mass emails or placing service indicators on student records. In essence, with this access, you are able to write your own queries. Do not share this information. Any questions should be directed to the Registrar's Office. To be safe, defer information requests to the Registrar's Office. The Registrar's Office provides consultation on how to interact with parents regarding student data, managing student data in online courses, and releasing information for recommendations requested by students. If you have questions about FERPA or need consultation, please contact Kimber Shaw in the Registrar's Office at 208-426-3381 or kshaw at boisestate.edu. As a condition of your employment, you are required to adhere to all state and federal policies and legislation. Infractions of such policy are considered serious and may be grounds for disciplinary action up to and including termination of employment and or expulsion from the university. Thank you for your commitment to our students and protecting their privacy.